Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is October the 17th of 2023, and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. Just a minute to remind you that if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please take a moment to do so and click the notification bell for notification of videos as they come out. The word I'd like to share with you today is in a quite different format than what is normally shared. And in light of the message the Lord gave us yesterday, it may be challenging to understand when these things spoken of in this word today will take place. Will it be before the rapture or after the Lord returns? My understanding is that the Lord is beginning these things prior to his return in preparation for his return. You'll see what I'm talking about as I share this word. One thing we do not have to be confused about is that the Lord has a good future for his people, for his church, for his bride, and that he has promised to restore all things. And we know things will be different once the Lord comes to establish his kingdom fully in the earth. I hope this word will bless you as you hear it. In this word today, I am sharing what I heard from the Lord. And so I am just reading off what I have journaled, which includes my interpretation of what he was saying along the way. I'll begin by reading scripture. Acts 3 verses 17 through 21. Now, fellow Israelites, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did your leaders. But this is how God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets, saying that his Messiah would suffer. Repent then and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord, and that he may send the Messiah, who has been appointed for you, even Jesus. Heaven must receive him until the time comes for God to restore everything, as he promised long ago through his holy prophets. This scripture reference from the book of Acts is given after Jesus has been resurrected. And so it speaks of a future time when the Messiah, Jesus, will come and God will restore all things. I'll begin reading this account. The following is put together with words and phrases received while waiting upon the Lord in prayer and is an attempt to interpret what the Lord was saying through them. The words health, healing, wholeness, revolutionizing, and products came as if the Lord were saying he is bringing health healing and wholeness, that he is revolutionizing products to be used. The Lord showed me a picture of how the Israelites were instructed to apply blood to their doorposts to prevent their families from being struck with the plague of death that would be released that night. The word immunity came with this picture. I believe the Lord was saying that just as those who applied the blood to their doorposts were immune from death, he would make a way whereby those who would be obedient to act according to his instruction would be spared plagues to come. The next group of words were harmony, balance, righteousness, 
right standing, right standard, holiness, wholeness. The connotation was that these were forthcoming. It was impressed upon me that healing and salvation go together, that there is synergy between these. The next word received was logistics. The dictionary gave the definition as a military transportation system for supplies. Eco was next, ecology, then ecosystem and systems of the world replaced, and replacement technology, and counterbalance. Other words and phrases were cornerstone and corrective measures. Putting all of these words and phrases together, it seemed the Lord was saying that he would bring harmony into the ecosystem that he would release through a system of distribution supplies that would bring harmony and balance according to his standard of righteousness, that healing and salvation, wholeness and holiness will go hand in hand. It seems he would use new technology replacing that which has been used to counter imbalance in the ecosystem. It was brought to mind that we had damaged the ecosystems of the world with technology causing pollution. Corrective measures would be taken to bring balance back into the ecosystem and that technology used would put in a cornerstone upon which a new system would be built. The Lord said he was silencing the enemy, that houses built on sand will fall, that there would be a structural change, a shifting as he put ecosystems in order. I envisioned a tree branching out of its fruitfulness and that its leaves are for the healing of the nations, as mentioned in Revelations 22 verse 2. The next words received were barrenness and depleted. The next words were bile, meaning life, and biology, the study of plant and animal life. The Lord said the barrenness of our depleted environment, I believe he was referring to its inability to properly sustain life because of what technology has done to it via pollution, would be turned into a well-watered garden. Further words were manna, a food from God, then technicians, technical, techniques, and testing. Putting these words together, it seemed the Lord was saying he would provide a type of manna, a food lacking nothing nutritionally, to sustain life, and that technicians would use God-given techniques to test and produce this manna. After this portion of words received from the Lord, the Lord began to speak to me as he usually does, and the following word came from the Lord. I am installing the pipelines, putting in place the underground plumbing. I am building a structure that will hold in time of pressure. I am revolutionizing society, bringing in a new social order. I am introducing the new, a new way of doing things. So do not be surprised when you start to see changes taking place. I am putting in place the system through which my blessing shall pass to reach the needy. Just as a pipeline carries water from its source to its destiny, I am putting into place the system that will supply the needs of the people. I have destined that the wicked be cut off, and that the saints of the Most High inherit the kingdom. 
This is the day you are living in, says the Lord. No longer will supplies be made accessible to the erring, but I am sending my power, my counsel, my instruction, my resources, my means to abundant life to those of my own. I have reserved much for my bride, my end time church. The wealth of the wicked has been stored up for her. Watch to see me usher into place a pipeline that will pipe resources to the needy. Watch me send supplies to meet the needs of the people. I have put in place the structure and it shall reach out, branch out to reach those in need. No longer will my resources be held back, but they shall be released to the people, says the Lord. No longer shall my products be held in the hands of the greedy. I am loosing them, and they shall be released with a free flow to be sent to the nations. No longer will the goods be bottled up on the shelf. The bottles shall be smashed and the wine shall flow freely. I am a righteous judge. My judgment is just. It is not twisted by human understanding. It is not controlled by greed. I am able to make decisions based on truth. The truth is that I, the Lord God, have a plan to restore the nations, to bring health and salvation to the people. And I am dispensing it, and it shall not get into the hands of the unrighteous, but it shall be handled by those who honor me in all they do. This is the day of increase for the saints of God. This is the day of abundance for those who have truly sought the Lord, for those who have made him their refuge. Safety shall be in my presence. I will provide a safe place, says the Lord, a place of refuge for all who seek me. I will provide comfort and healing, abundant provision for those who have made me their hiding place, their sanctuary. Guard yourself against those who claim to have answers to your problems. Don't fall for their lies. I am the only source of true joy. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I alone am the source of everything you need for life. I give abundantly above all you ask or think. I am your provider, your life giver, and I have prepared a place of refuge for you. Draw near to me, make your needs known to me, and trust me to fulfill them. Many are in need because they do not ask, and many lack because they are without discernment. They follow a lie instead of the truth. In this day, the nations will be tested. The shaking of the nations will come, but I have made a way whereby the nations can come into safety. Entrepreneurial Activity I am opening the portals to entrepreneurial activity to go forth. I am birthing forth my agenda. It is passing through the birth canal and will be delivered soon. Harness up with the structure being put into place. Be joined into it. Be put into place in the network. I have stationed my prophets strategically, and they shall prophesy to the nations. I have developed a plan to reach the nations with the revealed word of God. I have instituted praise in the earth, and I am bringing into order all things, putting them into proper perspective. Give thanks to the Lord with a grateful heart. Give thanks with a heart surrendered to the perfect will of the Father. 
I am pulling down the structure built by human hands. I am taking out the pillars, the supports, and the whole building will collapse. I am taking down the kingdoms of the world and washing through the churches to remove idolatry and adultery with the world. I am coming to cleanse the body, to remove every stain. Break free from negative thoughts. Be led by my spirit into the truth. Do not believe the report of those who declare that the old shall remain intact. Nothing of it shall remain when I release my power upon it, says the Lord. I am about to demonstrate my power in the midst of the people. I am about to come to knock down their idols, their pedestals, their works of flesh, I am about to turn the tables on those who thought they could exchange the truth for a lie. Nothing will be hidden, says the Lord. I am exposing sin and idolatry in the church. It will show up everywhere. Repent of unconfessed sin. Bring your concerns to the foot of the cross. Do not hold on to them. Do not protect them. I will deal with them according to my righteous understanding. My counsel and my judgment shall reign supreme. Cast all your cares upon me. Let me handle them. I will put things in proper order, in proper perspective. I will give guidance and counsel, says the Lord. This message from the Lord today is a very lengthy one and it covers a variety of topics. It seems at the beginning the Lord was trying to stir up excitement for what he is doing, the new thing he is doing, digging, turning the soil and presenting aspects of what this restoration will look like as he continues to build his church and expand his kingdom. The Lord is telling us in this word that he is bringing in a new social order, that he is building a network, a pipeline to meet the needs of his people, to reach through the nations, to supply what is needed. He is encouraging us that as we are in his presence, we are in a safe place, a place of refuge. And he is encouraging us that he is taking down the kingdoms of the world and at the same time establishing his kingdom and in that restoring the ecosystems of the world. In my mind, the Lord is sharing with us glimpses of what the future will look like, of how he will bring restoration, not only to us as his people, but to the earth that he created as he takes it over. We can be confident that the Lord is doing great things amongst us, that he is removing evil from amongst his people, turning hearts to him and bringing the restoration he has promised through his prophets of long ago. I hope this word encourages you, that it stimulates you, that you get a sense of the heartbeat of God to finally come and take back what belongs to him, his creation, the earth, and the fullness of it, that his word is truth. His kingdom shall reign over all the earth, from sea to sea. Great is our God, and he is greatly to be praised. My prayer is that we will exalt the Lord with all that is within us, recognizing his goodness toward us and the wonderful plan he had in advance for his world and his faithfulness to perform all 
that he has promised in his word. Thank you for listening today. I hope you have a great afternoon and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings. Bye for now.